Hello viewer, I'm CoolKim25 and today I'll be teaching you how to build this 5x5 contemporary starting house. Um, it has room, it has a little porch, it has a furnace built into the wall, it has room for a bed, a chest, quite a few chests really, it has a crafting table. And it has some nice, more creative details, such as shelves, even though they don't really work as shelves. So, what you will need is 45 planks of any kind, 21 stairs of any kind, 45 blocks of any kind, 21 stairs of any kind, 30 slabs of any kind, 3 fences or walls, 16 glass panes, 8 cobblestone blocks, 1 cobblestone stair, 2 cobblestone walls, and a dark oak door, and a furnace. So first, let's mark out the area. So we'll start with the first layer. Take your planks and make a 5x5 five five platform as seen, but leave two holes, one in the back middle block, so the back wall, so the middle block of the very back wall right here, and then one to whichever side you're building. I designed it where the entrance is on the right side, but you could very easily mirror it. So it should be 23 blocks. I'm gonna build it in survival because this is supposed to be a starter home for survival. Put your stair there, put a cobble stone block there, and well, technically it's not 5x5 five five with this, but if you want it to look nicer, you can add this a cobblestone block at the back so you got a 2 by one sticking out there stick your fences right there little L shape to the very edge of here one two three one, two, three. One, two, three. Slab, slab, slab. Put your furnace there on top of the uh, cobblestone block that's part of the wall. Put three glass panes like there. Put your stone so you got two uh, cobblestone blocks above the furnace and two cobblestone blocks above the cobblestone block sticking out the back. Then stair facing into the, they start going into the uh, two on into the top one above the cobblestone above the furnace. Okay, put your stair one, two, three. So you got the little notches. One, two, three. Bring the block. Bring the cobblestone blocks up like that. Cobblestone wall. Uh oh. Then put the two cup and then put the two can put the two copper some walls up there. And you cannot build in survival. Over here you want uh, to build a little two block long hall wall and build it three high.
and put a little L shape of slabs. So, what you want is to put a stair, a right side up stair, out from this block, and then a slab so it's on top of this fence post, and then the top slab with a upside down stair, so it's like that, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Put a uh, glass pane up there. So you want and on the other side of the house you want two pillars going up of um, blocks going up like this so it's at the corner and in the middle of the side then upside down stair facing out upside down stair facing out, upside down stair facing out, upside down stair facing out and upside down stair facing out I said upside down stair facing out Oh, um, st upside down stair uh, on top of here. You should have uh, two top slabs and a bomb slab. Like that. Um, bring out this line of slabs out over here. Bring these slabs out. Okay, up on top of the roof, you want to do uh, two stairs like that. Slab. Stair. Slab slab. This needs to be a bottom. This needs to be a corner stair. No, no. This needs to be a corner stair. Then two slabs like that. And this actually needs to be a bomb slab over here now you want an upside down stair upside down stair upside down stair slab Then you want to take a oh, row of bomb slabs out to the side, like, no, not like that. Like this, and like that. 
So that's the roof done. Now all you need is to put the glass panes. Boop 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 boop. So that's the main build. Sorry if I didn't explain it very well. But basically I just go around so you can see. Those are bomb slabs. Top slab, bomb slab. These are all upside down stairs. Upside down stair. Right side upstairs. Slabs. Stair. Slab. Corner stair. Stair. So it's nice and contemporary for the interior. Crafting table, chest, bed, and optionally an iron frame and a clock. Put your crafting table there, your chest there, your bed there. Okay, you also need a torch. And then put your torch there, above the chest, and there you go. It's nice, closing, compact. What you could do is you could move that down a, a block, it would save you a plank. There you go, there's your 5x5 five five contemporary starter house. It has some nice detail to it. Looks nice, relatively resource friendly. I designed it out of wood to be contemporary and all out of wood because that's very easy to obtain early game. And also lots of slabs because they're more efficient than full blocks and more efficient than stairs. So I tried to limit stairs and accentuate slabs so yeah he got a nice little semi-realistic um, oven with a chimney this one has smoke and uh, the reason why I did this for Saturday's video instead of a vehicle tutorial was because I have not reached the light goal for the vehicles so I'll be doing some like mini house builds like start house builds Saturday if I don't do a vehicle tutorial and um we might do this in the future that was a little sneak peek at what's to come so that was the contemporary 5x5 five five contemporary house. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below if you built it or what you would like to see next. A car or starter house. Uh, share it with someone who you think would like it. And I hope you do good in your survival series or survival world or book.